How are you doing today? How am I doing? Um, well, I've been feeling flat for the last couple of days, but today I've been feeling really good. A lot better today, thanks. How are you? Uh, not too bad, thank you for asking. A bit of a strange day, but keeping it together. How about you? How are you? I'm okay. It's uh, been a really tough six months. How are you? Uh, past few months have been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, sometimes feel sad, sometimes feel what's really happening. How are you? Uh, I have to acknowledge that there are moments where, um, you know, I'm more scared, I'm more anxious, um, I'm more uncertain than I was at this time last year. It can be invisible, it can be panic attacks, it can be anxiety, it can be stress, it can be insomnia. Just a feeling, it's a very heavy feeling over my, over my eyes. It's, it's, it's like my, my, my head feels very full. Uh, it's like almost like it's, you know, when it's bad, it's almost like it's going to explode. Like when you're depressed and you're just feeling yuck, you don't want to talk to anyone, you don't want to, just so caught up in your own head that you can't see or feel anything else and you don't think anyone wants to see or be around you. When I lost my mom uh, a number of years ago, I had just taken on a leadership position and, and the grief was, was really difficult for me to manage. And I reached out and I got some counseling uh, and it was really, really helpful. We all need a channel, we, not, we need an outlet uh, for our, our, to share and, and, and you know, for our emotions to go out. When we don't do it, it just stays inside, it very, becomes very difficult to you know, manage, control. So it's very important that we constantly check in with each other and as well with the people around us to kind of see where people are. Is it too much stress? Are there personal things or are there pressures around us that are absolutely affecting us? And in this respect, it doesn't make any sense to make a distinction between the workplace and the private life because it's, it's one brain, it's one nervous system that is working and um, it's very important to respect that. The level of pressure that people are under is becoming recognised. I think there's a recognition that there is a need to be more open and supportive of people's mental health as well as their physical well-being. Um, mental health is hidden. You know, somebody breaks an arm or a leg or is having treatment for some kind of illness, it's generally quite easy to spot. Um, but when someone has a mental health issue, you know, it doesn't show unless they are explicit in showing it through their behaviour. And what happens is, we work with each other, we spend so much time together, we observe each other. Sometimes these are signs that co-workers can notice that the individual himself or herself is not noticed. So if you have the support and empowerment of your team, that means that you're going to perform better. Um, people can help you, you can help them. Um, understanding each other and empowering people at work is the most important thing and you don't know what other people are going through. We will be uh, better, we will be more productive, we will have a better workplace, recognizing that the workplace now is virtual, if we can bring our whole selves to work. Which means um, acknowledging that things are not perfect, that we're not perfect, that it is normal, 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 to have moments where you are struggling in some way and, and the spectrum of that struggle, I have to acknowledge, will, will vary from person to person. So I can show to all my team members, to everybody in the world, that I am where I am on my journey. And that means, you know, I do things in the wrong way, I don't do it perfectly, I myself need a foot on the ball and I need breaks. That's why I think I, I want to share is because these are things that can happen to anyone, right? We are, we are all, all the same. We go through similar things. Uh, it just, you know, helps when when sharing happens. I understand it's definitely very, very scary to have to reveal to other people your innermost thoughts that scare, you know, even yourself. But I want you to know that we are in an environment that is very supportive and is always willing to listen and to help out. You know, you're, you're not alone. There are there is support out there and we're all humans. We all have our little packages and we can all support and we need all support. Be open, be honest, 
be yourself, be true to yourself, feel comfortable to find the right person to talk to. You are worth it, you are important, and you were born, so your life is worth living. You are not alone, I'm here, and I'm listening. How are you?